thank you for joining me today. My name is Myra Moore with Moore Football LLC. Joining me is a cornerback, Reed Harrison Drucro. Reed, thank you for being here today. So there's so much going on right now, but first, before we get into all the good details and see where you're at and how you're doing, um, tell me a little bit about yourself, your college, all the positions that you play, your height and weight, all those good details. Yeah, so I'm originally from Dallas, Texas. Um, straight out of high school, I went to Boise State for two seasons and then transferred to Duquesne University uh, for the final two seasons. Uh, I play corner and nickel and um, special teams. I really play everything except kicking the ball. Uh, so all different kicks, um, gunner, all that. So Nice. And how tall are you and how much do you weigh? I'm 5'10 and I weigh 186. Oh, sweet. So I've been seeing a whole lot of film and posts and... I'm not sure, is it your father that does a lot of promoting for you that I've seen? He's got a great setup for you. I was looking at it, I'm like, he really went above and beyond and that's that's awesome that he really you know, became such a huge part of your marketing. Um, and that's partly, well, it really is the reason why so many of us now know who you are. So- Yeah, yeah. With, <laughs> with him and then as well as my agent um, really helping me out trying to you know get my name out there as much as possible especially with everything going on yeah. um, i'm extremely blessed um, and appreciative of their time and efforts so yes definitely great job i know and it, it is a different era i mean we're everything is virtual now literally from you know certain athletes are doing their 40s virtual so it, you're, they're not official but you can make them as official as you can by having a certified trainer or an actual coach there but everything's different so how, how are you coping with things? How are things going for you as far as, you know, the drafts coming up and all that stuff? Well, I mean, I'm, I'm excited and I'm enjoying the process. Uh, like you said, it's, you know, it's just a different, a different field that nobody else has um, ever went through before. Mm -hmm. So I kind of always related to a kind of a slogan that Duquesne has, the Duquesne football team. They always say, Dukes adjust. So basically, you can't really control the circumstances that are put around you, but you can control how you react to it and how you continue to move forward and push through it. So that's what I've really been trying to do. Um, controlling what I can control, you know, um, everything's been shutting down like gyms and trainers and stuff. So I've really just been making it work with whatever's available to me. So like my church has a big soccer field that I can do DB drills and footwork on. And then as well as I'm blessed to have a, um, a weight set within my, uh, my house to do upper body, lower body. So, you know, just, Making things work with what I have, basically. That's amazing, especially because, what, Grant, we don't want this type of environment. We don't want this pandemic, but it really, it changes perspectives for everybody. And people come together as communities, especially for your church to be able to do something like that for you. Or, you know, just having those, those certain things when people come together and, hey, we know you can't train here, but we'll do this for you. It's like a community thing, right? Like everybody's now stepping together to help each other out. And I love that. But that's, I mean, you, you hinted, you talked about a couple of things there, the training, because you're right, that's, that's major, especially right now, because you don't want to fall off, especially since we're so close to the draft. Um, that's the biggest thing is staying in shape. How about your eating? How's your eating going? Or do you have any meal plans or? Um, I mean, I drink, I drink two to three shakes a day, um, as well as try to just eat every two to three hours, whether it's just a snack or just something intaking. Um, so just kind of staying on that same regimen I was before the quarantine and coronavirus really started shutting things down. So just trying to stay on it as, you know, as best as possible. Yes, that's awesome. So the good details that we all want to know, how fast are you? How's your 40? <laughs> so I ran my fastest 40. I ran at my, um, my pro day around 439. Um, and then my short shuttle drill was a 385, which would have been fifth all time if I went to the combine. And then my L drill was a six four two, which would have been the second fastest of all time if I went to the combine. So wow, that's amazing! You are fast, and that's exactly what's needed to be a corner. I mean, that's. And I saw there was a couple of um, there was a post a couple of a couple of posts out there, and one included you on the top. I think what was it the top ten or top twenty underrated athletes for the draft. So yeah. kudos to you because that that was that's that's big to be recognized, especially because I mean for a lot of guys not having pro days 
I mean, all pro days have been canceled, and I know there's a big one up on, on May 2nd, but that's, I don't even know if that one's going to happen. It's just, it's, it's that much harder. So for you to have your film and everything out there and have those numbers, that's fantastic. Uh, what would you say is, is your biggest, your biggest weakness? I'd say my biggest weakness um, would be at the end of plays, getting off receivers and blocks downfield. So, like, say it's a broken play and the quarterback's running around, um, and then whether he throws the ball underneath or he takes off and runs, you really don't know because you're looking at your guy. Um, so just trying to work on being in a better position when that happens, um, when the play transitions, to get off that block and um, be more effective in the play. That's good. I mean, it's 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 fixable. It's not something that's like, you know, that's not fixable. So it's it's good that you know what it is and you know it's something that you need to focus on. So that's that's a good perspective to have. How about um, your strength? What would then be I, your speed is phenomenal. So other than your speed, what would be your greatest your greatest strength? Um, I think I have. I kind of say like two because I feel like they're neck and neck in my opinion um, my technique as well as my knowledge of the game um, I say my technique um, because I've been working on it since the 6th grade I've worked on my technique in the corner position um, I've been blessed to have you know ex um, highly touted college and or NFL veterans within um, the Greymont Texas area uh, people like Larry Brown who's the Super Bowl 30 MVP um, Jay Valai who is a DB coach at the University of Texas as well as Clay Mack who's a DB guru who trains people like Jamal Adams and Jalen Mills, um, to just say a few. So to have them kind of in my corner um, throughout middle school and high school and as well as college and now, um, I really just built on it every year, um, just trying to continue to perfect it uh, day in, day in and day out. You know, I'm just kind of obsessed with trying to be as perfect as I can be in the technique because it can make a huge difference between, you know, not making the play and making the play. Um, and the same thing goes for knowledge of the game, too, having those people in my corner. Um, they really taught me how to watch film, to break down film, um, to look at, like, different tendencies and techniques uh, that kind of gives away what play the offense will run. So maybe, you know, the running back lines up deeper in the backfield and it's more percentage of a run or he's closer and it's more percentage of a pass. So just different little things like that um, to slow the, slow the game down more, to not make every play a new play is really um, really what I think my strengths are. That is amazing. Um, one, you're right. Because being able to break down film and actually comprehend what you're breaking down and what you're watching is key. Because you can watch film all day long. Yeah. But if you don't understand what you're looking at, what you should be looking for, um, or what you should be breaking down play by play, then it's almost a useless tool. So just from from what you were stating, you sound very knowledgeable, which is a good thing. That's I try, what, to try, I try to be. Yeah, but that is a very good thing. You sound like you know you're already a, your rookie season into the NFL. So that's good. Keep that up. Um, well, have you been doing, I know everything is on lockdown, but have you been able to give back to any, you know, your community or doing any volunteer events, anything like that? Yeah, um, not really in person, um, mm -hmm. but in the past I've, um, you know, trying to give to, so like there's like the ocean cleanup, um, you know, if you buy like a $5 bracelet, they'll clean up like a pound of trash, um, out of the ocean as well as, you know, the Australian fires uh, and the Amazon rainforest fires. Um, I've given to them multiple times. So it's just trying to, I guess basically just like making it work because um, you, know, you can't really do in-person stuff right now. You're just um, doing your part as best as you can, as best yeah. as any of us can do. So that's exactly. amazing. So my last question for you, and this is a big one. This is the one that I like to ask everybody and kind of hit you with it. If, if a team were to speak to you today, you know, they ask for a private virtual workout or a virtual conference, and they ask you, what makes you different? What makes you different from the next man? What would you bring that is an asset to this team? What would you say? Yeah, well, I'd say I start off, well, I'm a versatile player. I can play, I love playing the slot in the, in the outside. Uh, I enjoy being a student of the game. It's a passion of mine, and I'm a consistent competitor. Um, in every aspect, all the way from the practice field to the film room. Um, you know, I'm a technician. 
Um, I'm going to consistently continue to work to be as best as I possibly can. Um, I'll play any position that is needed for the team in order to win. Um, so I'm a team player, and as well as I'm a positive influence in the community, so it won't be a headache um, when we're not at the practice facility. There you go. That's amazing. Well, I wish you the best of luck. Uh, you know, the draft is right around the corner, so I'll be watching for your name. I'm hoping and praying for you because I know it, it's you definitely have the skill sets and you definitely have the speed, especially watching your film. I was like, how is he underrated? <laughs> like, we need to get better at promoting you guys because I was just sitting there like, oh, my God. <laughs> so I'm hoping. And, you know, granted, so my, my NFL team is a 49ers, and we have Sherman, I mean, we have phenomenal guys on, you know, on the corner, but Niners, this is, Sherman, this is who you need to pick up, and this needs to be your prodigy, right here. <laughs> That's just my school for you. <laughs> Thank you so much for being with me, Reed, and keep me posted. I mean, I'll be watching, and as soon as I see any news, I'll definitely tweet it out, but I really appreciate you joining me today. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much for having me on. You're welcome. And all, thank you so much. Please stay safe. Stay in. Um, we can get through this together. Be sure to like, retweet, share. Also, this will be uploaded, the full interview, to more football on YouTube. Thank you all. You have a great one.